Hello, and welcome to a tutorial on making a tree setup similar to what I'm using in Lucent. I'm using Houdini 18 and the SideFX Labs nodes, um, and have recently adapted the Quick Tree node to replace my previous tree setup. If you don't have the SideFX Labs nodes installed, just come up to the shelf here, go Create New Shelf tool, not <laughs> Create New Shelf, and select uh, SideFX Labs. And then you'll have an update tool set button here, you click this you can select local and if you already have the local installed you can click up um, select the more recent one from online and update that from online. Here's how the finished product looks in Houdini and the basis of this is just a simple curve so you draw a curve um, using the draw curve node in project mode and then it will automatically create a tree based on this curve and these reference nodes are just generating different load levels um, with different poly, poly counts there and here's how it looks in Unreal so I've just colored the leaves a couple different colors for the variations just to uh, show how it looks yeah, so let's jump into it and I'll show you how to make it from scratch. So open a fresh Houdini and if you don't have it already, uh, get the side effects labs nodes by coming over to here and creating another shelf and select side effects labs. Go to update toolset if you don't have these nodes here already and you can select the local version or um, there will be an option to update to the latest which is from online. So once you've done that, drop down a Geo node, just rename this to tree or whatever you want. Drop down a quick tree node and go to right click allow editing of contents and you can dive inside and see all the nodes in here. We're going to be modifying a bunch of this stuff down here later, but for now I'll show you how the draw curve works with it. So you get a draw curve node, plug that in because this takes a curve input and then just grab the projection the center can be up by 5 so that this height of 10 is at the, the origin then I can just draw a curve go quick tree and then it's created a tree branch oh sorry a tree from this curve and then you can you know, select different options such as the generations of growth you've got the resample resolution uh, which will just define how how much resolution the trunk has branch resolution same thing and um, you can you know you've got a bunch of settings for the the leaves and the branch lift and pruning and stuff like that uh, so we're going to have most of those settings still once we make the changes uh, but let me walk you through how to do that so I'll drop down a new quick tree just so that the defaults are all there and let's unlock it right click allow editing of contents and dive in so the first thing I'm going to do is go to where the leaves are created and I'll plug in this curve just so we've got something to work with so it's going to display an actual output and I'll go to these leaves this is creating something at origin that is then copied to the points of the branch over here and that's you know where the leaves are so we're going to change this setup quite a bit I'm going to get rid of this altogether and instead of that I'm going to show you the setup for the leaves that I'm using. So let's drop down a grid. Let's make it um, one by one, rows two by two, so that it's just a square with no needless resolution. Then this one's ZX plane, let's just uh, alt drag this to copy it twice, we'll go YZ, 
and XY. And then if we merge these three, you can see that they're creating this. And this is uh, a technique I saw on Twitter from someone named Dragos Matvoski, Matkovsky. Um, I hope I'm saying his name right. I'll link it, uh, his Twitter in the description. He made a really cool nature pack for the Unity Asset Store, and I think he's bringing it to Unreal as well. But uh, he was sharing some of his techniques. So once you've done that, let's drop down a transform node so that I can rotate this around and orient it um, in a nicer way. So what I'm going to do is rotate the pivot by 45 degrees. That way I can rotate around this axis and from the top you see it's all front facing because inside Unreal we're not going to use a two-sided shader. It'll be one-sided. So this is all you'll see. You won't, uh, you'll be able to see through the geometry if you're looking at back faces. So with this up it's uh, much much nicer and easy to sort of arrange the leaves uh, based on the normals that we set up later. So I'm going to color these red just to show that it's some nodes that we've edited. I'm going to come up here to where it's uh, creating the branches in a loop. I'm just going to make some changes in there as well to sort of give it some rotations that are a bit more random. So let's drop down an attribute wrangle here. Just drop it between the orient along curve and resample. I'll color this red as well just so we know where we are and call it add random rotation. So let's create a new random attribute here called f at rot and we'll go uh, fit01 rand one times a seed. So we need a plus one here so that it's a uh, it's got a value above zero. Otherwise it'll just multiply by zero. And then fit this between minus one and one. So what that's gonna do is create a random value between a negative one and one and we can just easily change the seed here. So we'll see that in action in a second. What we'll do is we'll go orient along curve and change this um, twist per from per edge to scale by attribute and then it's rot is already auto filled there. So let's take full twists and set it to 10 and then we'll output the end of the loop and let's see what happens when we change some values in this wrangle. So if we change the seed, it should change the orientation of all the branches pretty randomly, uh, which is nice. You can create variations really quickly this way. And as you can see, compared to before, it's just adding some more sort of randomness to the orientations of the branches outwards from the center at the trunk. Now next I'm going to come down here and change how we're creating the points to scatter the leaves on. So at the moment um, what it's creating is this for the scattering of the leaves but um, for the stylized and sort of fluffy trees that I want to make I've come up with a different way of doing that. So go to orient along curve, drag out from here and put down a blast and it's already got a group called trunk, so we can just delete that. So right trunk in here, go to points because it's a point group, and then the trunk will be removed so that we'll just be working with the branches. Now put down a cluster, and what this is going to do is create an amount of clusters uh, based on a control attribute. So if you select P, which is the position of the points in world space, it will create uh, clusters based on the world position which is really nice. So to visualize this I can just put down a color node and go ram uh, random from attribute, go cluster and you can see that all the clusters will have a random color assigned to them but they're all you know sort of in the same spatial area which is really handy as you'll see in a second. 
Now let's promote this. Attribute promote. 